take one. Do you know what lies in the shadow of the statue? Everybody knows that. Don't you have anything more like challenging, hardcore? Okay, what is Jacob's favorite food? I don't know, it's Dharma food. Oh my God, this is why he had this purge. He wanted to have all the Dharma food. Brilliant. I'm sorry, I think you're not ready to do the last podcast yet. I think we're not welcome here anymore. Someone should have told him not to go back to the island too, but instead he was pushed into the island's arms. Only because that's what you've always pushed me to do. You pushed and you pushed and you pushed and when will it be enough, mother? When? It's one thing to accept the inevitable, but it's another thing to push in order to make it happen. You knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> you sent me here anyway. Why won't they save Daniel at the temple too? I'm guessing the island can't resurrect two people in one week or simply won't want to. This is what might force Ellie to leave the island, I'm afraid. Sacrifice? Don't you talk to me about sacrifice, Charles. I had to send my son back to the island, knowing full well that... That's my son too, Eloise. But what is the nature of their relationship? It would be sick if Widmore lures her to bed just to conceive Daniel for the sake of the island shortly after Eddie kills him. I wonder, what did Eloise learn in the following years that made her push the wagon of fate without a single attempt to change it? You knew that was going to happen, didn't you? Daniel may still die, but not from her hands. Unless the island needs it exactly this way, needs his science. I'm growing quite sick of this island and the sacrifices it demands like a childish god. I don't know. For the first time in a long time, I don't know what's going to happen next. How come Ellie's knowledge of the future ends here? It would make sense all her knowledge comes from Jack and Kate that witnessed these events and might ask the others for help now. That's why she would know 30 years ahead, but would be in the dark a minute after a Jira flight takes off. I promised you. I'd never leave you again. I believe his body won't ever leave her to go to the island, but his consciousness might swap with the 2004 Desmond and flashes before your eyes. Otherwise, how would he have flashes of the future back then? I've been spending so much time focused on the constants. I forgot about the variables. Because we have free will. We can change our destiny. Jack is the variable. The spark in his eyes lit again. This is what he waited for. And he'll pick it up from where Daniel left off. It's beautifully ironic that the man of science and free will was brought to the island on a fate and faith ticket only to discover he needs to help finish off this island thing and put his faith in science and his free will. Or in other words, faith is just a variable in science. This entire chain of events, it's gonna start happening this afternoon. If the incident and the swan button are that important, how come there was a fail-safe key that after turning it, everything was normal? Or was it? Was that failsafe about detonating Jughead? I'm gonna detonate a hydrogen bomb. When we saw Faraday playing memory games in season 4, he wasn't losing it, but healing it. How cool. Come with us, Freckles. The code for the fence is 141717. Better be a couple in Dharma prison than a triangle on the beach? I'm guessing Miles will spill the truth to Chang now. Miles is your son. Will he be the one behind the camera of the Comic-Con video too? Is this true? No. And the amusing moment of the episode. Bill, Jack. Jack. Bill. I 
Jacob's favorite food? Carrot. Jacob's on real food diet. Of course. You know how he hates technology? Oh, I should have known that. 